Hello everyone, in this video, let us uh, take a look at the question that was asked on the community recently. And this question is all about uh, resetting SLAs in uh, Jira service desk. So if you look at this question, this question is from uh, uh, a user called uh, Badana Teja. And uh, he's asking about uh, basically a situation where you have uh, a Jira service desk uh, project and in your Jira service test project uh, where you have defined your SLAs based on let us say uh, the start of uh, the issue or the creation of the issue and you basically stop the SLA counter when the issue resolution is set. Now in those cases where you have the priority which is changing for example if your priority changes from let us say low to high your SLAs can actually differ because if you have a ticket which is escalated later on, if the ticket was raised with low priority and the SLA counter is two days, for example, uh, the SLA time is two days. Now, after one day, if you change the priority to, let us say, critical, and for critical, your SLA uh, goal is four hours. So immediately you will have a breach of your SLA and you don't really want to have that situation. So in this particular case, uh, uh, by the way, there is no way to have SLAs reset. The workaround or rather the solution for this uh, kind of uh, situation is to create a separate SLA uh, that will start uh, on the basis of uh, a status so you can actually have one status called escalated and when you escalate your ticket using that status that status could be uh, maybe reached through a transition or maybe it could be a global transition and the moment you trans transition your issue to escalated escalated state you can actually ask the user to fill up the priority or severity field the field that you want to change and uh, the moment you change the status you can have your existing SLA that can stop. For example, for low priority tickets, if the ticket is es escalated, you can stop the SLA and then you can have a new SLA that will uh, start running the moment the ticket is escalated and you can have a separate SLA in that uh, situation. Also, when you have your, uh, your, your priority field or severity field, which is probably on the edit screen, it is easier, it is actually a much easier way to uh, handle situation where uh, you don't really want to, this field to be changed. Maybe you want to remove this uh, severity field or priority field from the edit screen and only keep it in the transition screen. So when you are escalating your ticket, you can have a transition screen uh, popping up with uh, the field like priority or severity and then you can ask the user the agent to change it or you can have a post function and that post function can be of course uh, triggered when you are moving this uh, move, move, or you, when you are making this uh, escalation using the transition it could be a global transition or, or it could be a transition from uh, different states to the escalated state so to summarize everything you can't really have, uh, you can't really have a resetting SLA feature in a Jira service test as of now uh, and the workaround or the solution is to have a separate SLA and use a different status. So this is all I wanted to share in this video and I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.